so we just returned from our great western road trip. We encompassed the uh, western half of the country. Uh, let's see, we got it over, we cut through Minnesota, uh, South Dakota, Wyoming, then to um, uh, Montana, Washington, Oregon, down into California, Nevada. Uh, had some fun in Vegas and uh, we stayed at the Luxor. Uh, and came back up uh, through uh, Utah, Colorado, the beautiful mountains through Colorado. Wow. Uh, then took a little side stop in uh, Nebraska, visited my cousin, and uh, just got back home. All in all, we did just a hair under 6,000 miles in a week and a half, and we had a blast doing it. Uh, I dropped the midgets off at Grandma and Grandpa's house as I had to catch up on a little bit of work. Oh, there goes a Model S. Uh, anyways, uh, but my point is, I saw some interesting things on our trip. Um, beautiful scenery. Uh, got to uh, visit, as you already know, uh, the new liquid-cooled supercharging uh, uh, Kia um, stations, uh, where the cords are liquid-cooled. Um, got to see one of Tesla's battery battery banks in operation at uh, was it Gilroy Gil. Gilmore, Gilroy, Gilroy, I think, well, something like that, uh, which I, I showed you all. Another thing I got to see was the Tesla battery swap station. And I don't mean just the outside of the building. I got to get a little bit of a peek inside the building. Uh, couldn't get any information out of the guys that were working there, uh, but... We'll just say at, at this point, I have uh, a number of people that work at Tesla that are more than happy to funnel information to me, and uh, I might as well share some of that with you. Uh, for starters, uh, oh, I, should, I shouldn't say I didn't get any information out of the guys that were working there. Uh, they, they were, they were uh, the gentleman was friendly. He was actually uh, uh, priming battery packs for the, the station, uh, getting them ready to to insert into the, the battery bank that they have there, the, you know, the stacks of them. Uh, he was actually pumping the coolant into the packs, uh, getting the brand new packs out of their packaging. Or maybe not brand new, it could be refurbished. I don't really know. Whatever, new to that location. Uh, so here's the deal. Um, and this is from no one specific, I'm going to say, because I don't want anybody to get into trouble. Uh, and as of right now, there's about 20 to 25 battery packs already installed and ready to go inside the battery swap station at Harris Ranch. Um, of those battery packs, they include uh, 60 kilowatt batteries and 85s at this time. Uh, no 70s yet, but they're, they're still trucking more batteries there. So there's about 20 to 25 packs already at the station installed and ready for swap people to swap their packs with. Um, they still need D packs, and uh, apparently there is a slight difference with the packs that go in the D model uh, cars, uh, the dual motor cars. Um, something about an additional connection in the rear of the pack. Um, I'm really not too sure on the details of that. Uh, next, the reason that it is not widely being yet. Of course, it's still in beta testing. I have talked to a few people that got the invitation card, but so far none of them have actually done a swap yet. Uh, apparently you have to make an appointment to do a swap. And the reason for that being is, as of yet, uh, due to it being a prototype, it still requires it requires four people to be on hand to operate this unit, the station. Uh, so, uh, as of right now, there's generally one person on hand get while well, uh, they're getting things uh, set up and ready to go full blown. But they need an additional three people to make sure everything swaps and goes smoothly, which is the reason for the appointment. Uh, which, well, I would have swapped on the spot rather than waiting just to see, you know, get, get a try. And for some reason, the uh, Harris Ranch superchargers were a little excessively slow that day. It was 110 degrees out, and the uh, supercharging 
wads that plug into the car. Uh, actually, tips, the tips look like they had been a little bit melted, uh, which is understandable in the heat that's out there. But And those are some of the first ones that were put up. Those, those are fairly old stations, so it's possibly wear and tear too. I heard uh, PG&E and Tesla employees were out there working yesterday because of a power issue. So um, now, as for the uh, don't 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 click away just yet because I do have some video after I'm done rambling on here of the inside of the station. Not too much. Uh, they wouldn't let me actually walk inside, and they wouldn't let me record while standing there. So I kind of shot some candid film uh, with my awesome zoom, and uh, and uh, got a little bit. But um, they did let me peek while I was standing there. They did let me look inside, but not go inside. Um, and it's a uh, amazing machine they got there. Wow. Uh, very neat setup, as you'd expect from Tesla. The overall setup, and I hope my battery's not going to die on my camera. Oh, good, I got six minutes left to ramble. Uh, amazing setup, just like what you'd expect from Tesla. Clean cut and to the point, uh, just like the service centers. You walk into the service center, they're pretty much spotless, clean, no clutter. Swap station, exactly the same. You got the machine to do it, does its job. Nothing extra that they need. Um, so it's unfortunately I couldn't get the best shot. Um, so it's pretty much the best way to put it is it looks like a, a quick oil change place. You drive over the pit, and you know the little man's under there. You open your drain plug. Another guy up top fills up your oil, and off you go. Uh, well, it's a little different for the uh, Model S, but there is still a pit similar to like what you'd have at a oil change place. Um, so. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I want a red Model S. Wow. I think I saw more Model S's here than I did any other time of my uh, road trip. Go figure. Uh, so without further ado, uh, here's a video of the swap station and some packs of batteries sitting outside. Uh, they were just picking up for the night when we were there. So uh, they were forklifting them into some shipping containers, but I think there was uh, two, four, six, so I think there was about eight or nine packs that they were getting prepped, but they had run out of coolant, so they had to stop for the day. And uh, at that point, it was 110 degrees out in the shade. Uh, we thought, better cut it, cut, call it a day and plug the car in and go enjoy some air conditioning inside the Harris Ranch. Ranch building. So I found uh, one, two, three, four, five Tesla batteries. Um, there apparently is a supercharge, temporary supercharger right there. There's two Model S's over here, and there's also one in the ramp. Uh, so we're gonna get out. Stay back. Now. Whoa! Careful! We are at Harris Ranch, uh, just a recap. Uh, we pulled up and they are apparently loading some batteries into the super, uh, the swapping facility. Uh, they're getting um, coolant pumped into one battery when we arrived. Got the forklift going around. Looks like they pumped as much coolant as they could. Um, after, uh, after I got some long range shot video and 
Um, I, we weren't allowed to go inside. This is still um, beta closed testing and whatnot. I... But um, I found out some information is uh, they have both 60 and 85 packs. Uh, you will, uh, as far as I know right now, you will not be able to upgrade from a, a 60 to an 85. Uh, part of the reason uh, this is not from what I learned here is because game quiet is because uh, the 85 pack is heavier, which would require a uh, suspension upgrade as well, which the robots cannot do. Uh, another thing is um, they currently I found out at the factory that they're requiring appointments to uh, do battery swap. And uh, the reason being is at the moment, uh, battery swap takes four people to operate. And uh, right now there's only one technician here to do that and one guy running a forklift. And I'm going to get out of here because the forklift's coming. They're stacking batteries and putting them in storage for the night so they can come back tomorrow and continue on with the work. Um, I thought that was really not kind of neat. Uh, so battery swapping is happening. Uh, they, like I say, it's still in the beta, so they're, they're working on things. Just got to be patient. And I can't wait. Um, yes, I did ask when I was at the factory this morning if there was a way I could swap. And they said, no, just not enough notice. And at the moment, um, I would have had to, I had to uh, get an invitation first. So um, I guess down to the Tesla superchargers. And here they are. Smile, cheese.